different ways to garden. I think that I have honed in on the way I like to garden. But this morning, I, well, in the last few days, really, particularly this morning, I had to realize that it's okay. Quite a few of my tomatoes got planted. I know how I wanted them planted, but Hubby's the one who planted them. I would have loved, loved, loved to get out in the garden myself and plant my own tomatoes. But we're still working on healing. And Hubby says, no, he does not want me in the garden. He's afraid that I'm going to bump into something with my legs and regress. So we're getting so close to being healed. He wants to make sure the healing happens. So I had to let go of it. It's like... It's like when a, a child reaches the age of adulthood and you have to let them go. It's not easy. I had to let my hubby plant my tomatoes. Well, I wanted them planted deep. You know how you're supposed to plant tomatoes deep. But I'm lucky just to have gotten them planted. <laughs> I wanted to put a handful of tomato tone in each hole, but I'm lucky just to have gotten them planted. I did get worm castings put into the box, the containers that the tomatoes got put in. So I did get that. The tomatoes are planted. I did want, I have three, as you, if you watched it, Earlier when I planted my tomato starts in, in the little cups that I, that I planted them in, <laughs> I had three kinds of tomatoes and I wanted one of each kind in each tote. So I, I did get that with a few exceptions because I ran out of one of the kinds but I have a red cherry tomato, a yellow pear tomato, and a bonnie best tomato. The bonnie best is the one that I ran out of. And I have I have leftover tomatoes, which are sitting still sitting on my porch table. And I picked the best looking ones to get planted out. These others will be backup tomatoes and or I have some turquoise colored pots that I'm going to probably plant some of them in. So that will happen a different day. But now these tomatoes have a chance to grow, the ones that we've got planted today. Hubby said that the soil in the totes was really quite damp, so they didn't need to be he didn't need to be watered in because they are plenty damp for the moment. I think last year I put it in put an egg in the bottom of each hole too. I wasn't even going to mention that. <laughs> My hubby does not prefer to do gardening. The only gardening he loves doing is mowing his lawn, <laughs> and he's happy as a clam. And that's all the gardening he has to do. So him having to fill in for me is not his favorite thing. So, and what I have to do is just let go and be thankful that it happens. So I will conclude this video by showing you a couple of pictures of of my tomato garden so far. 
it's got a ways to go. I've still, I've got some peppers to plant and I know which container I want them to go to be in. And I've got some flower seeds that I want to direct sow. And I wanted to show you the roses. We thought maybe they had died, but I think I saw some greenery coming up from the bottom of one of them. I think the roses, the ones right up next to the house are fine, but the ones that were on the other side of the walk, the, uh, the, uh, the ramp leading up to our house, they did not appreciate the winter. <laughs> but I think at least one of them will be okay. Hopefully all of them, will, time will tell. Oh, and I got my, my mulberry tree has yet to leaf out, but it isn't dead. It's still on the ends, you know, the bark, whatever, on in, inside the bark is still green and it has buds, but no actual leaves yet. And it was quite tall, so I, I told my hubby to please trim off the top. And I took those trimmings and stuck them down in some some soil in a pot. Hopefully, I, hopefully they take root and I have another mulberry tree, <laughs> at least one. We don't normally grow mulberries around here, but it's gotten through two winters, the, the tree that I've got, it's gotten through two winters. It's supposed to be a dwarf, so it should, it should, uh, stay at the height that we trimmed it to. Well, it'll grow taller, but then we can trim it down again. Let's see, what else do I have to tell you? That's probably it for now. I have some house plants that I'm going to have to do some research on my, on my uh, violet plant that my hubby got me because the flowers are starting to go. So I will need to learn how to maintain that. And same thing, oh, my lemon tree, the leaves got crispy again. I've been watering it and I know you have to be careful not to, not to overwater it because you can get root rot. I don't know what its deal is. It's a Meyer lemon. And I got it, if I remember right, I got it from Stark Brothers, so it, it should, it shouldn't keep wanting to die on me, but who knows? And, you know, I can't complain to Stark Brothers because I had it for over a year, and I think it's user, user error, but I've tried to baby it. I'm just, I don't know, may have to buy another one. Well, anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> Need to show you those photos of what's going on out, out in my garden. Here's hubby. There's the tomato plants. Oh, and this is the mulberry uh, uh, starts. These are left over, and I need to baby them and get them. Some of them are look, looking pretty uh, pitiful. Here's a better view of the garden. It doesn't look the way I would have put it, but it's okay. It's okay. It will be okay. <laughs> the smaller, you know, the pots, the small pots, they need to be planted with flowers and the bigger ones can be planted with some more of those tomatoes that are on my porch. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, may God's love and blessings surround you. May his presence help you with your gardening. See you later.